Hey guys, what's up? This is Ruben Garay with IndieBusters.com and uh, in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to create a professional looking lower third Chiron which is basically that little part of your video where you introduce um, a reporter or a subject and um, it's a pretty simple thing to do actually um, it consists of three layers um, first our rectangle then our text and then our modified image which I'm going to show you how to basically manipulate any logo that you want um, in order to put it on top of your um, Chiron whether that is your company logo or any other logo that you want so um, I have my final version here um, this is how it looks website I'm gonna tell you how I became addicted to traveling and of course I have a fade in and fade out at the beginning and at the end just to make it extra extra good looking um, as I like to call it so I'm gonna walk you through the steps um, this should be fairly simple fairly easy the first thing you want to do is you want to create a rectangle which is this part right here and we're gonna do that by going into our effects tab right here and you are going to go to the video generators tab and you're gonna go to the shapes tab and you're gonna choose rectangle so I'm gonna go ahead and double click it right here and now you're looking at a standard white square so I'm gonna move this down to the timeline and I'm gonna start playing around with it so I'm gonna double click right here I'm gonna go to my controls and the first thing that I want to do um, is manipulate these settings and values right here so softness for example um, you want to make sure that it's at zero so that you don't get this kind of weird looking web 1.0 look because um, we want to make this look really professional and then with the size here and the aspect ratio you can choose basically how big or small you want your um, lower third to be so that looks pretty pretty good to me and I'm gonna go ahead and select a color I'm gonna make it say red this time just that it really really pops out although you're probably gonna to wanna to go with a lighter color on yours um, so I'm just doing this for illustration purposes so now that I have my um, lower third right here I am going to crop it so I'm gonna remove the black areas right here so that our video layer down here can uh, show up in the background so I'm gonna to go to motion I'm gonna to go to crop and I'm gonna play around with these right here so I'm gonna click on the left and I'm gonna put it right there and of course if you wanna play around with the numerical values um, you can just to be more precise so I think that on this one 27 I'll do it 28 you do the same thing on the right and then you do it on the top that looks good and then on the bottom that looks good to me I am then going to make sure this is double clicked and selected I'm gonna click on my center here still on the, under the motion tabs and I'm gonna move it wherever I want right here that looks good to me so now we have the rectangle layer done now we're gonna add the text so I've created here her name this is a friend of mine who I did a, 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 beach, a beach shoot for and I've chosen uh, Arial Black and I'm gonna create size 21 and um, I'm gonna go ahead and move this down to the timeline again and with the motion tabs again I'm gonna center it oh forgot to double click I'm gonna center right there and you know what I'm gonna make it a little bigger 23 there we go and then now the third step is to add your logo and I have a radaronline.com logo here which is the company that I work for and um, I'm gonna move this down here and now we have three layers on top of each other basically we have the rectangle the text and the image now I only want this part of the logo like the the little radar um, lines 
to show up here like I have them right here. So we're going to go from this to this. And this is a good tutorial too because it, it shows you how to manipulate your images. Um, and it's, it's amazing what you can do with um, your basic motion and your cropping. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it down to 100%. And that gives me the original size of my image. I'm going to go ahead and center it over here, right where I want it. And I'm going to now start cropping it. So actually for illustration purposes, I'm going to just bring that out here so that we can see clearer what, what we're going to do. So again, motion taps with this right here, double clicked, going back to crop, and I'm going to start taking stuff out of the image so that I get only the green lines, the, the, the green arches, bottom, right about there. I'm going to move this down to right here. Okay? So now you have your, your Chiron right now set. Um, and now this is where we're going to start, you know, adding a little bit of little tweaks here and there to make it look better. So what I did on my final one here is I added an opacity um, to the rectangle so that you can kind of see through the rectangle to the background video. I added a drop shadow to the text so that it stands out and I added a drop shadow to the logo. So we're gonna go back here, I'm gonna double click our rectangle, we're gonna go to opacity and we're gonna move it down to let's say 60% that looks good to me. I'm gonna double click on my text, I'm gonna add a drop shadow there too so that the text really really stands out nicely and now the image again same thing drop shadow and I'm just gonna move it around and perfect it now this lower third I think the rectangle might be a little bit too big so we're gonna go ahead and modify it again so I'm gonna click on rectangle I'm gonna go to my cropping and I'm gonna take a little bit out of the bottom and a little bit out of the top right there and that is basically how you do a lower third um, with a current on it with a with someone's name on it now um, to finish this I'm going to add my fade in and fade out the solves which I'm going to add to each layer like so and then you're done and you're gonna basically end up with a fade-in website I'm gonna tell you how I became addicted to traveling and the fade -out. so I planned this backpacking trip to Europe and there you have it pretty simple and uh, just make sure that you render of course um, your sequence and uh, that's it you should be able to manipulate this in any way you want with any logos with any text with any colors um, of course, what I did here is just for, for you know, illustration purposes. This is what works for me. Um, I'm sure that you'll find many other ways of making your lower thirds look really, really good. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, keep checking back at ndbusters.com for more good stuff on Final Cut Pro. Have a good day.